Jimmy Neutron in Final Boss. I got a pass. I got a pass. I got a pass. Okay, you can go through, but no trouble, or you are out. Yes, sir, almighty security guard, sir. Well, I'm glad that we caught all those Twonkies. In exactly 46 minutes, Twonkus 3 will be in range to return them. Just enough time to enjoy Grace Star's rehearsal. I don't know, Jimmy. Are you sure they're safe in there? Of course, Carl. You have to remember that I made it. What could possibly go wrong? Yo, Retroville! Are you ready to get crazy? There's something that I gotta say. Don't even try to walk away. Oh, for too long you've done this walking. My friends are less while I'm not walking. I just put on my coat. I'm going out there. Jimmy? Not now, Sheen. Can't you see I'm enjoying the show? Jimmy! Not now! Jimmy! What? Is it Sheen? Well, I think there's somebody trying to get out of your backpack. Don't be ridiculous, Sheen. There's no body in my backpack. Lots and lots of... Oh, no! Um, Jimmy, I think I can hear my mommy calling me, so I gotta go. I think I can hear Carl's mom calling me as well. Good luck, Jimmy. <laughs> And this is the final boss. It's a lot like the Frozen Lake boss, as you can see. Basically, this boss is going to take the form of all the previous bosses. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the intro. Hola. Now it's, uh, yo, yo, what a poem slice. Welcome to the finale of Jimmy Neutron Tech. This boss has taken on the powers of the Frozen Lake boss. Anyway, this final boss can, can be kind of difficult, but not that bad. I find this the easiest phase to get hits on it. I don't know how it actually is able to copy their boss's powers, but whatever. Also, it's kind of annoying to say this is also ice physics. And now we're gonna need the lightning sword because it's taking on the form of the playground boss. And this is where it's gonna shoot lightning. You can kind of see it's gonna. You're gonna see a little bit of like a thing as to where. Unfortunately, this phase is kind of hard to get hits on. I just made him angry. But yeah, that's that. And I think I'm going to equip the sticky shoes, because those help a lot. Siphoning more health from him. And now he's the roller coaster boss, so we need the pet proton energy instead. Thankfully there's no not regenerating health annoying stuff earlier. But this is probably the hardest phase to land on. As that it's not the most worth it. Try it. I do like the idea that you're combining all the uses of your super invention into one. You're not using the, the Strato XXL rocket ship, but that's not really kind of like a context thing, just to, to stop being in a comment comment level tutorial level. Hey, blow up, thank you. Victorious? 
Yeah, I've almost destroyed this thing. It's not that hard. That's a cool idea for the final boss. Yikes, you got him. Ah. Come on. So much. Alright. Wait, I still hate these tornadoes. Okay, good. Here, so I can. One more hit. And then we've beaten the game. And dead. Nice one, Jimmy. Way to show the 20 foot monster of destruction who's boss. Good one, Jimmy. Now we can listen to Grace Star in peace. Nice one, Nerdtron. Way to mop up your own mess. I wonder if Grace Star needs a backup singer. Well, that finally showed them. Retroville is safe and sound. Ah, <sighs> yes, Jimmy. Everything is back to normal. Yeah, still, I can't help feeling that we forgot something. We didn't capture that Twongi that was hurt, trying to hurt Sheen in the cutscene. Whatever. And yeah. It's everything. Everything gets an A, of course, because I'm perfect. You have and yeah, another bonus. A bonus. Also, I'd like Next to point out that in the, the episode, menu. it wasn't a stadium, Head it was a library the that they were building. Material section to find your but bonus. whatever. One is, yeah, that's that. And that's Jimmy Neutron, Attack of the Swankies. We're just going to see the credits. And there's one more thing to do. I'm going to be showing the bonus in these parts. But yeah, I'll talk about my thoughts on the game. It's a fun game, and I enjoy playing it. But again, kind of like Fairy Light Parents Breaking the Rules and Scorn of Bell from Kingdom Bottom, it's most enjoyed from people who enjoy the show and like it. Because, you know, in today's world, it's not the most perfect game ever, and there's definitely better games out there. But for what it is, it's a fun little game that's not very long, like I record all this in one day, two sittings. But I still have fun with it. And you know, I play it once every year or two, just for nostalgia's sake. And you know, I have fun with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bigger I like the- I'm a fan of the parts and like, kinda like the beginning where it's just Jimmy and he's inventing stuff. 
And I'm not the biggest fan of him like, capturing all the Twonkies because it gets kind of repetitive. But you know, it's still fun to play. And you know, I guess I'll leave you guys with the credits and I'll see you guys back for the uh, uh, bonuses stuff. So uh, I'm going to put down the microphone and I'll see you guys then. All right, now for some bonuses. Bonus material. First off, we have bonus movies, which are basically trailer stuff, like the opening cards for the TV episode, uh, new release for Jimmy Neutron duties, trailer Pan Shadow Showdown game trailer, and Tattoo Zappy Dreams game trailer. Play challenges. You may just play all the arcade games from Side Joe Spectacular. Bonus artwork basically a slideshow of concept art from this uh, game. Pretty cool looking. Kinda wish they did a little more of the Twonkis 3 aspect and blast off going there, but it's still cool looking. Yeah, from what's they had a lot more planned for the Twonkies 3. I do kind of wish they had that, but, uh, you know, still happy with what we got.
lot else for me to say about this. You can kind of see that this is pretty true to the final product. I don't know what this thing is, but you know. It looks cool. So anyway, bonus level is the main attraction though. Rocketeer Racing. It's basically an extra racing level. Where basically you're racing on jetpacks in the Main Street Mayhem okay, level. Basically, whoever talks to me is the most likely to win. So I'll basically show. This is actually kind of hard. We have unlimited jetpack. So. I'll probably let Carl win just to show like the dialogue and stuff. Because this doesn't really do a whole lot. And this is actually kind of hard. I'm going to be honest. And yeah, Carl wins. So yeah, you can play again, so okay, Jimmy, and I kind of want uh, Carl to know she to be the one who talks, but whatever, because okay, I want to show Sheena's dialogue. Let's see if we can do it. Jimmy, wait for me. Yeah. Uh, you were haunting me, so I'm just going to try and myself. No, no, wait, no. Eh, uh, of course. Nice job, me. <laughs> uh, let's try again. No, I want Sheen to talk so we can show his dialogue. Not you, Carl. Carl's cool, but Sheen is better. But yeah, this is kind of Super Ancient Sephora-ish, but, you know. What if the dev team made this as like a joke? Like a Super Ancient Sephora joke? That would be funny. Wait, I missed. I missed it. Dang it. I missed one of those things that it cost me the race. Uh, I'm not the best at this if you can't tell. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna retry. There we go. There we go, now she can his dialogue. I'll let Gene win this time just to show his dialogue and stuff. Good for you. Wait, no. No, did I miss it again? Dang it, I missed another one, I think. Dang it. And she is the winner! Woo! So let's actually do this seriously this time and not fail. Okay, Jimmy, you this time I'm gonna win. This time it's serious. This time it's personal. Because I've shown up and you need to show. Yeah. I've got a long card though. Got everything. Yay! But that is pretty much everything to do with this game that I can show. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching this Let's Play. It's been a lot of fun playing it. And I will see you all next time. Adios, home slices.